Hi foodies, one of the most popular dishes in our Caribbean kitchen when it comes to breakfast is salt fish cooked some way. It could be with ackee, cabbage, uh, callaloo, fritters. However, one of my favorites is also salt fish with butter beans. So let's get into this easy dish. So to make this, we have the salt fish here, guys. It is boiled and deboned and flaked already. We boil to remove the excess salt, but leave some salt in there for flavor. And I also have some butter beans here. You can use dry ones if you prefer, but it's more convenient to use the canned version of it because for this dish, it's definitely not gonna affect the taste. It's gonna be just as delicious. And of course, I have some diced onions you can cut them in strips if you prefer this is some minced thyme and scotch bonnet you can use more if you want and there's some garlic some tomato and i have some bell peppers here and some diced scallion okay so what we're going to do is cook everything in a pan so i have oil in here already over medium heat and we're going to cook the onion and the bell peppers first so make sure that pan is nice and hot and then we're gonna stir fry everything in a sense so remember that everybody has their own preferences it's your kitchen so it's your rules if you don't like bell peppers you can leave it out what if you like a lot of tomatoes you can add more tomatoes okay so cook these for a few seconds, then you can add your tomato. You can add more tomatoes if you want to. Sometimes I use a lot, okay? It just depends on your mood, right? So stir these around and then we'll go in with the other ingredients. Here comes the minced garlic. So we've sauteed these for just a bit. Now we're gonna add the salt fish, all right? Remember this is boiled and flaked. There's no bones. We're just gonna stir fry everything together at this point. If you add the salt fish and you feel like, you know what, I need a little more oil, just move everything to the sides of the pan and you know, pour a little oil in the center of the pan, allow it to get hot and then stir everything back together again, okay? Of course, I'm going to add some black pepper and just to do this to your liking. Some people like a little bit, some people want a lot. You can even use white pepper if you prefer, but mostly, you know, black pepper is what I use. We're gonna add the minced scotch bonnet and the minced thyme. You can leave whole sprigs of thyme in there if you prefer, or you know, a whole scotch bonnet. And then some scallion is what I just added. And then we're gonna add the butter beans. These were drained and rinsed. And then we'll add a little ketchup. Now, ketchup police don't come for me. Um, if you don't like ketchup, just use your tomatoes. And I added just a little water. I'm gonna stir this together. This is just to, you know, keep it a little moist. Um, sometimes we want a lot of sauce. Sometimes we want it dry. So add based on what you want. If you want lots of, you know, liquid in the pan, add a little bit of water and a little more ketchup. You can cover the pan as well if you want to. But this is it, guys. You are good to go remember the beans are cooked already so you just need a few more minutes for you know the beans to soak up the flavor of the salt fish and then you can turn off the heat okay that is it no salt added the salt fish already has its flavor you are good to go this is nice with some fried dumpling or some ground provisions or breadfruit so delicious guys so if you haven't had this before give it a try and let me know what you think. All right, see you next time.